Okay, so we're back. Now we will try to put the face recognition to our script. How to do it? So we just open the okay, face recognition report. You just search in GitHub, you will find and we can find how to. Basically, you just let's see documentation. Okay, you can try online demo and okay, installation requirements Python, max you to Linux. Windows not officially supported, but I never have problem with it. Installation. Pip free install face recognition. We don't use pip free because we work in our environment. So we have pip by default. We don't need to define pip2 or pip3 for whatever. Okay, let's close it. Wanna closed. Let's kill it. Okay, we killed it. Okay. Okay, it does not work, it's not Linux. So all I need to do to use this library, pip install face recognition. I have some problem with internet, so it will install all what it need. Okay, so here we see problem. Pilot build will for the lib. Uh, so I have some problem. Yeah, it's happened often here. Okay, let's check first that we have will pip install will we have? Okay. So let's check out what's the problem. CMake. CMake must be installed to build the for uh, this is for Windows, usually you will have. Okay. Let's install CMake. Using cached because I already downloaded it with some another environment. It's still in cache in some folder on my computer. So I don't need to download it again now. Wait a bit when it install it. Search for installed. Okay, now we can try again. Pip install face recognition. Okay, now looks it's file. Fine. The lib will take a bit time to compile now. while let's see what we can do with this library so with this library we can get like our faces landmarks we can get the whose face it so we can train this library right and you can see examples and how to work with it what to do what we will try to do we will try let's just to output landmarks on the image and for this i can again face recognition landmarks you can google pip still build how facial recognition works part two face landmark let's these tutorials basically we again now it's lego we work with lego you do need actually even to program it i think i can do program it for scratch by myself but i do not have okay here i not really have example how to use these landmarks i can get but i do not have example how to draw this landmark on the image to output back I see this is a bit different, so I can find here what to do for landmark, landmark kitters, image shapes, cutter, face recognitions, landmarks, it's still built, and landmarks draw. Yeah. 
Okay. Super internet. Kill this, kill this. This one why go here. I think it should be here some code. How to draw line marks. Basically we will need to use pillow to draw lines between these landmarks. Draw. We can use OpenCV also to draw. Okay. Draw. Landmarks are on. Define landmarks. Landmarks face landmarks. Landmarks in landmarks. For Q in landmarks. You draw. Show original. Or we show scatter. Access support rows column. Okay, this is to draw this kind of landmarks. And not this one. Okay, this is installed now. Uh, we can test it. So, first of all, how to use it. We need to get import face recognition. Copy. We go here. I will save it and I will create another one. Rename face recognition. I will call and here I will need to import face recognition. And here we see we need to load image file and basically you can try this. Mm, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's use image in my output data. Let's do image load image five and let's do some face, not Facebook, just face. <coughs> because I want to show you process how you can understand how to use it, right? Okay, I don't know, whatever. Okay, mm. I don't know who is it. Looks beautiful. Let's try just to use this every image. GPG. Yeah. And here I will image pack and let's print image and print image shape. This one I don't need. And yeah, let's do this one and let's see Python face recognition face recogn p just let's see what the output here should be and i close okay so this is pretty much int array the same what we have from 0 to 255 resolution x y 3 where so it's I can do here example for example data shape and you will see it's so we have the same format and no, not the date data so when we work with all this stuff we just like need to figure out okay here we have the same order here, so we need to we do need to reorder our channels. It works. 
and again here if you see we basically we're gonna get to 4035 we already reorder here basically because in OpenGL it's have different order RGB and but so good so in this case I can replace image with my just with my data without any additional work I close it go here and face locations I just get face recognition face location image good okay I don't want to load this image anymore I don't need this one and output okay let's go face location data output for now there's still data let's just see if it's work here or it will give us any error looks like fine this works I put the image here now put this one you see it have a little bit delay because yeah face recognition take time uh, especially for the high resolution this is pretty high resolution for computer vision usually we lowered our image much more especially we don't need these kind of details in this case I close it good let's go here so now we have our landmarks now we need to use it So if you now I did not compile with with CUDA, so we can use model CNN. We can try, but I think it's gonna give error because I did not use CUDA for now when I install it. Yeah have some problem so find faces in poor photograph I find in photograph using deep learning so GPU Digital makeup, let's see. So you can see kind of a lot of example examples here, why not? Face recognition, face, face location, top right left, so where you find place, and we just cut it. Ah yeah, this one I was looking for, so this photo we're gonna to use it. Okay, so we will need to import. So this is will draw facial features from peel, import peel, draw, okay. We put in, in our import and we make sure pip install peel. Below. Okay, it's already installed. So when I run it now, no problem. Right, good, no problem. I close it and now you see how it works. Okay, I can create pill image, image from array image the image draw peel image good so I go here and in my pipeline before we start doing anything I will create this peel image image from my Larry image draw peel image but here I will replace it I will use numpy I have numpy snp yeah zero slike data 
So this is will create the black image for me. So it will create non-PRA. This size the same like our data input, but it's gonna be will be zero. So it's black image. And then image draw, pill image. Good. And now face recognition, face location, but I need to use not face location, I need to use face landmarks here. Face landmarks data. Okay, let's rename also to be clear. Face landmark list. And now you see for face landmark and face landmark list, we just copy this stuff. For face landmark, face landmark X, this happened. Okay, we put identity inside, print the location of each facial. Okay, I don't want to print it. It will slow down our performance and draw it. Yeah, okay, let's draw it. Line three, not so wide, and okay. And peel image, it's gonna be peel image here, so show. But now I have pillow here, but I need to output. I cannot write here a pill image because this is non PRA, this is pillow. If I try it, I should get error. Yeah, you see. Uh, wrong, so if I don't know how to do it, peel to. NumPy, Google, our God, help us. How to convert pill image into NumPy array? Stack overflow, second God. For us all who have no idea how to write program. NumPy array, pick, easy. So here I will write numpy array, pill image, save. So now should be fine. Run, start. Ah, okay, numpy. I have numpy, but in my case I give name np to numpy, numpy array. So I need to also use here np array. Okay, you see, now we got it. Not bad. Okay, I don't want to transform it. Okay, it's delay, it's quite big. So, stop it. Okay, in this case, if I need just like fence line mark, I not really need the high resolution. I just can go like with 256, even like 128, easy. But for this, all I need just replace here. And maybe I wanna not so white. Okay, it works, it draw. It give me good performance. Not bad. Uh, video device in. Let's get okay. Some camera connected. Put here. Put my face in. So not bad. All right. Pretty fast. Work. Work well. So, not bad. And now you just can go and see documentation for face recognition, what you can do here and how you can do and how you can use it. All right, I will show you one more things quickly now because, okay, usually I don't need this kind of output. 
what I gonna do now. I gonna output back just encoded data of my image. So for this I need okay let's put this up. This I still need. Mm. But this stuff I not really need now. Uh, I what I will do I will just create output and pair zero like data. So now it will output just black image, yeah. But I wanna do something here. So now, for example, I want output to touch just my official landmark position and where is it and how is it, yeah. How I can do it. So first of all, for my output, output z zero, zero, one. I will do face on mark list and as is list it's gonna be in not bad and sex one for facial feature in face landmark case mm. So face landmark case, I think it's another list, and let's just check how many face landmarks we have. For our output in general. Return output line fifty seven. Okay, one more. Okay, this one give me yes, nine face flat marks here. Yeah. Okay, go here and so we have So pixel zero zero channel one we will output how many faces we found and after for each face we will output something different. Mm. Current face equals zero core face plus one so if I have more than one face, I will go to the next. And here I can write. So if we have now nine face landmark facial feature, let's print what is inside. It should be XY, right? It's yeah, it's a lot of them. And it have tuple inside. Let's check shape of it. Okay, it's list, so not shape. Len K 
here you see maximum I have 17 uh, I have three channels right for each pixel or in my case what I can do I can just output it every let's do it simply just output it all in one channel for e in range from 0 to facial and marks facial feature range I will invalid syntaxes face landmark facial feature range for zero I will print I so now I should get the tuples a list of ah right I need to have full ends here okay now I have this one not bad and now pretty much what I can do I can write output first it's y basically position usually it's gonna be core face plus one second it's gonna be the pixel voila and next one zero and as is output tuple I think it's x and y and y and x I will do like this so one channel gonna be this one run can't assign to function call output ah it's not function first of all it's array right run Okay, it works here and here I should receive something back yeah you see when it find face I get some pixels let's first choose it to the nearest pixel not interpolate here is the same and talk to chop let's see crop full image red okay let's do crop row first from zero mm -hmm. pixels no row Pixels, pixels, crop top. Oh, 
128, 128, scroll bottom. 126 so now here I get one again nearest I got my face and the first one zero zero it should be let's say 127 27 so first one basically it yeah oh it's g channel it show if it finds the name or not image next frame from 1 to 255 so one basically that's all i need pixels pixels In okay, all I need is just G channel. It will show how many faces found, right? <laughs> now I can create another crop, for example, and here I'm in the crop. I can write 127, and here 127 minus. Up top to one zero and here we just write okay I gonna all line oh no one and this I can convert now again RNG all I use so LRNG gonna give me position again I can use from 0 to 255 where is a this is good things and next good things what I need to do with it okay I have around pixels you remember we have 17 maximum yeah 17 face features now this is channels I put to the null I get some geometry let's say no with some sphere inside make it small render output instance on this use one x to r to y okay with the size maybe let's make it bigger camera render <laughs> let's just use constant uh, material and let's do geometry viewer So first I think I need to change inner here. Three, four, five. It should be more. It's not really okay, it's something wrong here. Let's use 
static image. So we don't have this kind of mess. Uh, and yeah, I think the problem here because you remember here we have nine different case. So I need to write here k equals zero. And here for each y I will use k plus how many I have facial learner marks and current k and this one current k is y y and here it's gonna be k plus y k plus y so this is not all landmarks here I have we run again And we should have much more now, I think. No. Okay, zero. Ah, okay, here. Okay, okay, gonna be here. Current face is the line. And this is x position, k1. Ah, uh, yeah, and k, gonna be k plus. Run it. Gone. Okay, now you see I have a lot of landmarks. So 72, yeah, standard model. So here is a face I got. Okay, this is still RG, right? <coughs> but it's inverted because in Python it's work a little bit in opposite way. So first of all, I will put mass here and I will put this one from zero to something but it should be the resolution I got minus this so I can get constant and here I'm combine chops subtract and here I'm R and G and R it's gonna be op siphon spot out one width and here height not there here mm, it's still upside down one two eighty ah yeah I need to change order And as I see the y inverted, x not. So x I don't need to do it. Mm, let's just check, okay. This is gonna be x, this is gonna be y. Right. x, y, x, y. 
All right. So here in the scope, I just need to do it just for y. And basically x I even don't need here then. Op channel name y. because this is first one, yeah. X merge. Okay, I got this. I can move my camera more far away. And also what I can do here to can use another math. Yeah, first of all I can make it smaller. And second one I can Let's just do this one. This is faster. Geometry Viewer. We get camera. We get ash. Where is our camera? Oh, our camera here. Quite far away. Render the display. Okay. I need to move my camera here to have this. This is still not super easy way to use in TD, but whatever. I figure it out. And now you see, it's not bad, so now I can get the pretty much value of my face here in TD. And as I have this, I can pretty much easy calculate the position and whatever, everything for this, what I need. Mm. Again, as you see, we do need the high resolution usually for this kind of operation, again, to make it work faster. So Python is, did not eat much now, GPU, and I think even if I have people <laughs> images, let's just get some. Internet super fast. Let's try this one out. Okay, I need to name it. Okay, for this number of pixels, it's a little bit too small, right? I think fifty six to fifty. Six. Okay, let's say even like not like this. Four seventy-eight to sixty-two. Ah, half. And two thirty-seven, one eighteen. Two thirty-seven, 
118. Uh, let's see what it will find. Okay, it's a little bit different order now. It's somehow there. Okay, let's try custom to fifty six to fifty six. heavy okay we have some problem here now plan phase let mark list let's just try to print it so because it's found more so we have some sync that does not work here Okay, free. It found free now. One to three. Good, but why we didn't get it here? Output zero zero one. Face landmark list. So it should be free. Current face plus one. K1 plus 1, K1 plus 1, da da da. Should be fine. It's weird. Let's try to get it through all free channel. Ah, yeah, that's what zero one two first. Ah, yeah, now I got so because okay, first one I need to. Okay, free, free, free. Here I got. Here it should be the same. And here I need to do full image. Before I do it, I shuffle it, in my case, seconds, channels by name. Not bad, right? Now I get faces. This is free face here. Ok, 
actually now it's too small to recognize. So in some case it's find four faces, yeah, at the top. Okay, it's not really face here, it's a hand. But anyway, it's funny. This one I think gonna be simple, simpler. Not much face covered. Oh. I cannot open it. Dot dot. It's PNG. Okay. Feet. One, one. Okay, it's fine. Two. And send this. So here it, it just we need to think about the again trade off. Right. Okay. If like this already, I've pretty much I found all of them. I found nice face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So trade off between resolution and the size of the face. Again, it's still pretty fast. It's gonna work for real time. by error. Zero. One. Two. Multiply by three by one eighty. Next things we just make it slower move and maybe not so big amplitude. And make it faster. You see it's kind of fast. Not much problem. Okay, it's taking a bit more now, but I have bigger resolution now. Here also we have a little bit bottleneck because when we receive texture we need to convert it to the numpy array to CPU and after convert back to GPU. That's where we lose a lot performance. But anyway, this work now. So this pretty much all for today. Now you know how to use Py and uh, Spot for Python with Site Designer. And we try today just how to use face recognition model library for this. Next time I will try to show you how to use some generative model like style gun to generate image and receive in touch designer and how to control this style model with like UDP or socket. I will see. Usually I use UDP for now. I did not try yet the new socket. Okay, bye.